Here we have old Bud working for his food. We don't feed in bowls. Feed the raw meaty bones diet. These dogs have to work for their food. Bud's going on 15. You can see how he has to work for his meal. It's a very tactile type of activity. They use their paws on the bones a lot. He's getting older so his back ends, not so great, but they'll commonly use both paws on that to actually rip and tear. This is what cleans the teeth. See how he's got it in the side of his jaw and using the foot now to hold it. This not only feeds the dog and makes them work, this is, a, this is a classic example of how a dog should eat and how we want them to eat. Two paws on the end of the meal and working for the food. This is great for the teeth and gums. You'll see at 14 years old this dog, he has got an awesome set of choppers on him. Have a look at what he's taking off there and the tooth marks in there. He's you're good, don't you, bud? And I can play with him. I can play with his head. I can stick my hand in his mouth or do whatever. This is how a dog should eat. Should not should not be protective of the food and should work for the food. We've got the others about working at the same time. This is Pudding, cattle dog. She's the same. She likes coming over and working for her food. She's fairly slow eater, so she will continually work. And we have Nimble who likes to hide. So we'll go over to Nimble. She'll run away a little bit. She likes to protect her food. She won't bite or anything like that. And see how she'll work and she's getting through hers quicker than the others and she's a very fast worker aren't you Nim? Okay. and again I, c I can do whatever I want with these dogs while they're eating Nimmy Nimble stop stop good girl I can take their food off them I can handle them I can do whatever I want while they're eating And again, that tactile activity with the foot on the actual food while they're working for their meal. Super important in the feeding of dogs. And when you see a dog set of choppers like this one's got, you can understand why this is such a good activity for the dogs as well as such a great way to feed them. No gum disease or tooth problems in these dogs. Zero processed food.